Mission Possible Part 1. First, we're going to review the hands-on um, newsletter that came in the mail with this gorgeous bag called Fill Me Up With Love. What's great about this bag is as soon as you find that one of your markers goes, miss, goes dry, then you can throw it in this bag and you have a place to keep all of your markers so that you can fill them up later. In this in this quarter's hands-on um, newsletter, you're going to see wonderful information provided by Noyland, including how many refills can you get out of a refill bottle like this to fill up your big ones, your number ones, art markers, and fine ones. And of course, we love Noyland ink because it's water-based, it's odorless, and it doesn't soak through your paper. And what's great about it being water-based is that we get to mix our own colors. So there are two new kits that they just came out with to help you refill. The one that I have here is the Refill Big Pack. Now you can order that directly from Noyland. I believe it's a limited time offer, so it might only be happening through the end of the month. And the Refill underscore Big Pack you, this is the product number 173009 underscore refill and you can order that directly. There's also the Noyland.com, there's a campaign for the smaller pack um, and that you can order that at Noyland.com campaign hyphen mission hyphen possible hyphen set at HTML. Now everything you see in this kit I believe comes in the larger kit that I have here and let's go through what comes in the kit. So you get this beautiful Novario box. It's the card box, so it's the big one, so you can put all kinds of ink bottles in it. And what comes with it are the three mixing colors. You can see I've been using mine already. So we have the 301 turquoise, the 501 yellow, and the 704 neon pink. And it's going to be these three colors. These are the primary colors that are going to allow us to mix all kinds of colors. With the box also comes an extra special brand new color from Noyland. It's 705 Blackberry and it's gorgeous. You also get four of these um, empty bottles so that you can mix with and you get two fat ones. You get, um, I believe, let's see, we get a couple of other small number one outliners and something that's new is the um, rounded tip, also known as the bullet tip. Um, this is also a new marker that you can fill if you enjoy using this kind of marker. So now they come in, in the empties. In today's Mission Possible, we are going to be mixing up the three Noyland colors that they suggest in the new hands-on newsletter. So here you'll see in the corner here, we've got the Get Mixing Now. So we're gonna try out the Odd Fashion, the Cherry Lola, and the Klex Beach. Let's get started. Let's get started with Odd Fashion. I want to go from light to dark here and so we're going to start out with the 501 and I've got an extra bottle here that I'm actually going to use. I go through a lot of yellow because it's the uh, lightest color and you'll notice in their recipes it actually takes more of the light color than it does some of the darker colors. So we're going to use five of the refill bulbs of the yellow and one of the turquoise. So you'll want to grab one of these guys and let's see what marker we plan on putting that. Let's put that in because it's such a light color. Let's put it in one of the big ones. Okay. So you want to start out, want to make sure that you've got a napkin handy in case there's any spills. And the way that you measure these, let's get our refill bottle ready here, is you're going to invert the bottle just like this and squeeze the ink into the bottle and you'll notice that you get about half half of a um, refill bulb full and that's all you want at this point you just want to go with one squeeze put it inside and go ahead and screw it all the way down and then push all of the ink make sure you get all of the ink down into the bottle and just to make sure that we don't lose count, every time I do one of these, I'm gonna go ahead and mark down that I have a refill, that I did a whole refill bulb, not a full one, but I did one squeeze for each one. Make sure it's in there really good. 
I'm going to put this back in. Do another squeeze. Again, make sure you're screwed all the way in. You wouldn't want to have any spills. All the way down. Squeeze. Just make sure it really gets in there. So that's three. four and this is our last one again we're about halfway each one of those squeezes gives us about half of a dropper full and now we have five refill bulbs full of ink and now let's do a turquoise so my turquoise bulb is empty I'm gonna invert it go ahead and squeeze it looks like it's full but it's not it just Fills, it looks like it fills up the whole thing. Oops, hey, why don't we not contaminate? So let's wipe this off before we put it back in. It's okay if we get some there for now, but that's one refill bulb. And notice I, if I, in case I um, get any yellow on there, we wanna take that off. See how that looks kind of green now? We want to make sure that that stays blue. So, yep, look, it's coming out blue, so I know that I'm good. Just be extra careful and make sure I can take any extra yellow that could have gotten in there. We don't want to contaminate our colors. And that's why you want to start with the lighter color first, because it's easier to take the lighter color out of here than it would be to take the darker color out of the yellow. We could really contaminate our yellow if we're not careful. So, yeah, I think inside the needle is fine, and there might just be a little bit here, but I think we're good. We'll just wipe this off so we don't have any extra spills. I'll clean this off. And I know some people prefer to shake, but I don't want to add any more bubbles, so I'm just going to swirl. Just sort of stirred, I guess you would say. And so let's test out our color. Grab a sheet of paper here. And a couple of ways you can test out the color is right from the refill bulb by just squirting some out of the injection needle that you're going to use to put into your marker. Very lightly, you just need like a little bit that way. Ooh, beautiful. Or you can also put a little bit on a Q-tip. And this won't be as intense, so you'll see that it gets a little bit lighter because um, it's just soaked up by that Q-tip. So how do we refill our markers or fill them for the first time? Well, I like to use this handy Neuland refill set. This box will help me hold my marker as I refill it. You want to open up your big one. Put the cap to the side and there's two holes. There's a big one, there's a big one hole, and then there's a hole for art markers and number ones. And so again, you want to invert your ink bottle and fill up your refill bulb. You want to insert into the back end of your marker and very, very slowly let the ink drop in. So you might be able to see it, it's starting to go down into the marker here. Just very slowly. I'm just very slowly going here. And as you pull it out, you can kind of feel it. It's got a little bit of a, a pull to it. That's fine. I'm going to get another one. So 
So I actually got, two, I think, two in there the first time because I sucked it up twice. And so whenever your marker is completely empty, you only want to refill your big one a maximum of two. But when you're just first starting out and putting ink in a brand new big one, you can do four and a half refill units. So even though I had one, actually two already because I did two squeezes when it was inverted, I can actually fill this up one and a half more times, but we'll see how it goes. Yep, you can see it's going down the membrane of the marker. So that's three, actually. And we should have enough here to fill up the marker. Yep. Again, when you pull out your refill bulb, you want to be sure that you don't squeeze this between the bottle and the marker, because that could be a disaster. So this is our fourth one. Again, I'm going very slowly. It looks like all of the marker on the inside is penetrated and now it's, it's gonna start getting to the tip. And I'll show you a trick. Rather than doing that last half on this end, we're actually gonna do it on this end. So first I'm gonna clean up the back end of my marker. Sometimes I'll lay down a piece of newspaper or my tissue and I'll let it just, I'll bang it on the desk just to get any extra out. And then I'm going to grab a small container and I'm going to put some in there. And this would be considered like the other half. You can also, I mean, if this is too big, you can also use like a bottle cap or something really small, but that way you've got ink coming from both ends. Now you can see it's coming down a little bit down here. It's getting into the end of the marker nib, but I'm not going to be very patient here and I want to use my marker right away. So I'm just going to let it soak up. You can see it's coming up. Wow, it soaked it up. It just drank the ink. All right, we're going to put it back here just so it can rest for a minute. And I'll clean this up. Don't want it to stain. It shouldn't stain too badly, but I might want to use it for another color coming up. That's quite clean. Letting it rest there is helpful because it's going to, the ink is both going to start coming down and then going back up. But let's go ahead and write what ink we have here. This is the Odd Fashioned. We did a little bit of a test here. And, oh, beautiful. Oops. Usually when I graphic record, I graphic record really, really fast, but I am enjoying this new lettering style that I learned. It's not a new lettering style. It's called Bone. And I have to kind of go slow. It's a very slow and controlled lettering style, but because this is an odd color and it's an odd name for an ink, I thought I would use Bone to write it. This lettering style was uh, designed by Jackie Sforum in the 1970s. She wanted to teach her calligraphy students control of their pen and also you could do this with a brush um, so that they could learn Roman, uh, learn how to use um, a brush to write Roman majuscules. So that's odd fashioned. Let's move on to the next color, Cherry Lola. So again, we're gonna use the yellow, we're gonna use five of those, and we're gonna use four of the neon pinks. All right, so you'll wanna grab another empty container here. Oops. 
Looks like I've got a little bit of a mess. That blue can really bleed. Dark colors tend to do that. All right, so let's go with this. I'm going to invert. Fill our refill bulb halfway. Insert the injection needle into the empty refill bottle. Make sure that everything gets in there. And once we do a squeeze of that, we'll make sure we mark it off. I'd hate to miscount and get the recipe wrong. Now again, starting with that lighter color so that we don't contaminate our yellow. And when I get done here, I'm going to clean off the top of that bottle. So I want to make sure that we don't contaminate our pink when we get to that. We've got two down. There's three. I feel like quite the mixologist. So as you're testing out your colors, I can test out these three for you and you can try them at home. But if you come up with new colors, share them online. Share them with Noyland, share them with uh, me, share them with all your, your friends online. You can use the hashtag Mission Possible. All right, and here's our final one. Number five. Okay, you can put this away. Mark that just to confirm so that a few minutes later I don't think, hey, did I? This one, I'm going to wipe this off really, really good. And we'll want to make sure that when we use the hot, the neon pink, that we don't uh, contaminate that. I'm even going to use a Q-tip, see if I can't get down in there. Good. Not necessary, but I want to make sure I don't contaminate my color for the next time I want to use it in a marker. So we're going to do four of these. Whoa. Looking good. One. And that might have a little bit of yellow on it. Let's find out. No, nope, not too bad. I think that Q-tip really helped. Yeah, that looks good. There's two. Yep, looks good. Looks like I got some blue on the side of my pink refill bottle. So this can be really messy and really fun. There's three, and we just need one more, and we will have Cherry Lola created. Again, I'm going to make sure I'm not getting any yellow. No, it's staying really true to pink. Half of a refill dropper full. And four. And let's make sure we clean it off before we get it in there. Thank you, Neon Pink, for your contribution to Cherry Lola. Now, again, we don't want to shake it. We don't want to add any more air into it, but we do want to stir it. And we know when we go, again, when we want to refill a, a used marker, we just want to use one refill max for a number one. But because it's empty, we can go ahead and put two. So let's go ahead and do two. I'm going to use my refill box here to set my marker. So one squeeze here. Again, I'm going to go very slowly. I want to keep all of the ink within that fiber membrane inside the marker. I like the um, art marker because you can really see through it. It's kind of a, a clear and, and smooth finish here. It's really going down fast. 
That's great. Oh, I just used one up. So, because we should only refill it twice. Let's go ahead and put some in a little container. Or, if you're on the go and you don't have time, you can also just squeeze it directly onto the nib like this. Look at that, it's going up really fast. Just sucking it up. I love brand new art marker nibs. They're just gorgeous. Yep. Let's give that a minute to soak in. And while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and test it. I mean, we've already put it in a marker, but it's not going to change. So, again, we'll just use this, just lightly squeeze. Nice. And we can put one, put a couple of drops on a Q-tip, or you can use a brush. So you can see what it looks like when it's slightly faded. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Let's see, are we ready to use the marker? Ah, oh, I think so, I think we can do it. Let's try it out. So, for this lettering style, I'll just do a casual serif. See, I can go so much faster this way. Like sometimes at the end of an R, you can put a little flick or a little round thing. And it's Cherry Lola. And this is the brush lettering style that I teach. Of course, it's only four, four letters. But there's Cherry Lola, a beautiful orangish, reddish, almost brownish color in the art marker. And Klex on the beach. So for that, we're actually going to put away our yellow. We're going to bring out our neon um, pink, and we're going to be using the 301 turquoise, and it shows that we need some water. So we're going to kind of grab a little container here. Good thing I have my extra water. And I like to carry extra refill bulbs. And because I go through a lot of the Brilliant Yellow, that's the 500, I always have extra bulbs like this. So instead of throwing these out, you can save these. I like to put them in some hot water, just let them soak, maybe even squeeze, and squeeze a lot of water through them. And they're great for all kinds of applications, but again, they're gonna be great for mixing things up. So. Let me grab another refill bottle. There's one here. These are recyclable. And let's start again. Well, let's start with just clear. Let's just start with water first. I'm just going to pull this from some water uh, that I have here. And it is a half of a refill bulb full. The first time you put um, the injection needle into a refill bottle, you have to kind of push hard to break the uh, seal. And so there's our water. That was easy enough. Just one of those. And I would say of these two colors, the neon pink is actually going to be the lightest. And we just need one of those. Oops, I'm sorry, three. I was going backwards. And I'm going to do this one first because it is a lighter of the two colors and I wouldn't want to contaminate it. And it only had water in it first, so I'm not worried about there being any contamination there. I don't have to wipe off the needle. Oops, let's make sure we write down that first one. Let's count for it. Well, mixing colors like this, I think to myself, what was it? What is it like working at Neuland when you get to uh, design and invent a new color? And now we get to do the same. So, if you're looking for that perfect green or that unique blue, or you want to get to those muted tones, check out Mission Possible 2. I'm going to be covering that next week, September 5th. Um, 
that is going to be a lot of fun to play with some muted tones, which we've got pastels, which are just lighter colors, but we don't really have a lot of muted tones in our Neuland color palette. So I was inspired by the desert sage and the mountain lavender um, here in Colorado, and I wanted to emulate those colors in my markers. So there we go. I'm going to clean that out really good. And so that was the third one. And then we just need one of the turquoise. So that looks really clean. Put that in there. And just to make sure, you might have gotten a little bit of pink. Yep, see that's not pure blue. It's got a little bit of purple in it, but I think we're good. Might have stained it a little bit. Reds tend to stain plastic. So it actually looks really clean. I'm not too worried about it. Good. Thank you, Turquoise, for helping us out here. I'll just clean up this. It's funny, I feel like I'm being super, super clean, and I still have ink all over my hands. Again, let's stir this. Let's not shake it. We don't want to introduce any additional air into the ink. And we'll use the same formula. We'll do two refill bulbs full for the number one rounded tip. And I'll go ahead and put that in there. So invert this. We have a half a dropper full. And start dropping it in. Wow. You can see this go down really quickly because it's a darker color. So it's easy to see. Very nice. I kind of squeezed that really hard. It went up pretty far. But it looks like it's coming down pretty quickly. Make sure all of it's in there. And then for the next dropper full, I'll actually put it directly on the nib so I can write with it right away. All right, that looks like it's getting really close to being full, but we want to use this right away, so I'll just add it to the nib. And sometimes I'll do this when I'm graphic recording and I need to put ink in my marker really fast. I'll put um, maybe a half of a, of a squeeze down here on the end, and then I'll, put, I'll try to put the rest of it on my nib. I want to be careful when I do this, I usually put down um, just like a napkin or a Kleenex or something, and I'll, I'll put it over my bag where all my markers are so I don't get any on the client's carpet or their floor. Because if it spills in my bag, I can clean it up later or not. <laughs> but if it spills on their upholstery or their carpet or something, I'm kind of liable for any damages. So there we go. Pretty easy. And it's not quite the whole dropper full, so I'll just put some <coughs> from the back again. Let's see if we can't get some down in here. It seems to be soaking up really fast, even if I kind of flood it a little bit and it fills up in this reservoir, it disappears quickly. So these brand new markers are really thirsty. They drink the ink. Good. We'll let that rest for a second. While I put the cap back on. And let's do a little clicks on the beach, but let's test it first. Got a little bit left here. Beautiful purple. Oh, that is rich. Um, let's try it on a Q-tip too. Oh, 
gorgeous. All right, let's see what it does. Let's see what this rounded nib can do, which is great if you're doing rapid uh, content capture. You can do, I do like um, sort of casual serif. Pretty, pretty purple. This is just my regular rapid style. And then beach. Let's go ahead and do, instead of, uh, I call this the double stroke first stroke. But this, instead, let's kind of add a little bit of life to it and do three strokes. And let's put some serifs in there too. You can go back and put in serifs if you miss some. Kind of need to allow for them a little bit. There we go. And clecks on the beach using the rounded tip number one marker. So there you have it. We have three new colors from Neuland. They've started us out with these recipes for us. Uh, you can try these at home or you can mix your own. And like I said, if you'd like to join me, for Mission Possible 2. You can join me next week. It's on Tuesday, September 5th at 10 a.m. Uh, Mountain Daylight Time. It's a free class. All you have to do, it's live. All you have to do is go to facebook.com forward slash corporate graffiti artists and I'll be mixing up my four new favorite colors. Thanks so much. See you next time.